Hello, and welcome back to Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion. We're also going to learn how gravitational waves show evidence for a pair of ancient stellar murder mysteries. We're going to meet a white dwarf the size of our moon, and we're going to pay a visit into our ailing friend, the Hubble Space Telescope. Gravitational waves detected by astronomers in January 2020 may reveal a pair of ancient murder mysteries. These waves seen at the LIGO and Virgo gravitational wave detectors show a record of a pair of collisions between neutron stars and black holes uh, 900 million and 1 billion years ago. This marks only the first and second time such events have been witnessed. However, astronomers looking at light and other electromagnetic waves fail to see the event. Researchers speculate the neutron star in each case may have been swallowed too quickly to produce large amounts of electromagnetic radiation before being swallowed up. Astronomers at the Zwicky Transient Facility recently discovered a white dwarf star with the catchy name ZTF J1901 plus 1458. What? We're going to call it 1458. This is thought to be the smallest and densest white dwarf ever found. The stellar corpses are usually a about the size of Earth, but 1458 is only about the size of our moon. Still, this body contains 35% more material than our sun, and its magnetic field is a billion times more powerful. Researchers believe 1458 is likely the product of a merger of two smaller white dwarfs in the ancient past. The Hubble Space Telescope remains out of operation following the failure of a payload computer on June 13. The problem is found in the Science Instrument Command and Data Handling Unit, which includes the faulty payload computer. Repair teams are also examining the command unit science data formatter, which sends and formats, formats data, as well as a power regulator within the power control unit. Now, if one of these units is found to be the ultimate source of the problem, engineers will switch Hubble over to backup systems. This is a fairly complicated operation, and mission engineers are currently designing procedures to carry out the task, which will be, which will be tested on simulators before commands are sent up to hub. Next week, we welcome Dr. Stella Kafka back to the show. She is CEO of the American Association of Variable Star Observers, and she's going to tell us all about everyone's favorite red giant star, Beetlejuice. Be sure to visit with us then. Join us each week on Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion as we bring space and astronomy news together with groundbreaking scientists, authors, and space exploration developers directly to listeners and viewers everywhere around the globe. Subscribers to our VIP newsletter see every episode of the show a day before the general public. And we depend on support from viewers just like you. For ways to help support this program, including VIP subscriptions, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net forward slash support. Please stay safe, stay healthy, keep your wonder alive. If you enjoyed this episode of Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion, check out every episode at 
the Cosmic Companion TV. Also, subscribe, download, and share this episode on YouTube, Facebook video, or any major podcast provider. For more details on space and astronomy news, please visit thecosmiccompanion.com or thecosmiccompanion.net.